Hello, welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. My name is Battler, and first of all, I just want to start off by saying uh, the thumbnail, and the title is a little bit of satire. I am in no way trying to tell the developers how to make their game, uh, and this video is just my opinion. Uh, I'd, I'd like to start a discussion and talk about how people think the game could be changed for the better, and uh, and whether my, my ideas are stupid, you know? So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first one for me is the movement. Now, we all know that there's no inertia in Tarkov. And one of the big things that I'd love to see in Tarkov is inertia. So what that means is as you're moving forwards, um, you don't just stop immediately. You kind of slow down a little bit and then uh, come to a stop. Uh, sort of gradual. And you can't just change direction instantly like if you were strafing. So we know that Nikita said on the podcast that they're going to be adding a test server where they're going to be adding inertia and things like that. He said he did have it in there at one point and he didn't like it. Uh, but yeah, that's just one thing I'd, I'd like to see and, and get rid of bunny hopping. If we're going to talk about the realism aspect, then bunny hopping shouldn't be in there. And uh, it just, for me, it ruins the game. Like, I know that that's uh, probably a bit of a unpopular opinion, but I, I really hate bunny hopping. I hate seeing bunny hopping. I just think it kind of it ruins my immersion man so yeah i don't like that and strafing accuracy so strafing side to side i i want to see like either more bob or your your gun swaying more or something like that i don't i don't really know the fix for that but i'd like to see strafing accuracy um decreased by quite a bit so number two is make task item finding raid status different to the flea market founding raid uh, this one, I, I feel like it's quite unpopular again, but I feel like it needs to be a temporary solution to the long-term problem. Obviously, once the story quests out and once we've got more tasks to do um, and there isn't going to be a wipe every six months or whatever, I, I think it'll be fine having the uh, just the one found in raid status. Uh, but like people who have been around for a long time, the quests, especially this wipe, have been a real grind for me. Um... It's fine for new players, but for for the older players, I think it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty difficult and and uh, you know easy to get burnt out. Uh, I want to increase the lifespan of the mid tier loot mid game kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm just checking on the dog. She's just wandering around. <laughs> um, so what that means is, um, yes, the tasks are there to kind of. They're, they're being made more grindy so that it makes the mid game longer but I think that's a, a roundabout way of doing it I think one of the best ways in my opinion of doing it is add more loot spawns for mid tier gear so things like um, level 3 helmets, level 3 armor even level 4 helmets and armor let's let's get more of those to kind of just spawn in, in the world a uh, great example would be an interchange let's have Hunting slash camping shops, where um, there's there's multiple spawns for backpacks like your your burkuts, your uh, um, tri zips, things like that. Just like um, just general civilian slash enthusiast level <laughs> backpacks. I don't know how how many backpack enthusiasts there are in the world, but I, I imagine a, a camelback tri zip would would fit into that category. Um, and, and things like just 308 spawn, like uh, in, a, in a camping, sh in a hunting shop, you'd find 308. You'd find like all the, you know, the low tier ammos. Well, say low tier, mid tier ammos. So I'd, I'd love to see things like that more. Um, and this leads nicely into number four, which is I'd like to see a quest lock slash level lock for labs. This one kind of has the community a little bit divided. Um, I don't know the perfect way of doing this, but I think it limits the availability of high-end gear, which would drastically increase the lifespan of the mid-tier game. Uh, so, you know, you can't just, like, day one of the wipe, go into reserve, kill kill all the raiders, and come out with, the, you know, end-game gear. And same with labs. You find a key card or whatever. Um, tagging onto that, I don't think there should be any barters for armor. Maybe there should be barters for like face shields and things, but armor, I think it should be found in raid only. 
in reserve and labs. Um, with maybe like um, Kibber having like a, a random spawn or a chance to spawn some high end stuff. That, that kind of thing. I mean, Kibber, don't even get me started on that. For such an end game key, it's useless. It's really, really useless. When you can get much better value for your money, go into uh, labs or to reserve. In addition to that, though, I think that ammo should be available from traders. High-end ammo, like M995, um, M61, 62, BS, that kind of stuff. But not for purchase, for barter only. And then obviously find him raid on raiders, um, in reserve, in uh, Kibber, that kind of thing. Just to, yeah, just to kind of limit the, the high-end gear. It makes it feel a bit more of like an end game. Take some other survival games, for instance. I'm not I'm not saying that Tarkov is a survival game because it's... I mean, they've said that it's not. But some of the gear you can only get from, like, airdrops or from, like, a certain place. You can't... Um, you know, it's, it's very, very rare. So when you do come across it, it's super exciting. Um, and if you have it yourself, you're not unstoppable. But you definitely feel like a, a little bit of a, a hero running around with the with the top gear. PUBG is another example. Like I don't really want to compare Tarkov with PUBG, but for example, some of the loot is only found in the airdrops there, and when you do risk it to go and get it, you are better off for it. So I think that would be a, another great thing to add. Number five, I don't really have any solutions for this one, but since the founding raid flee. <laughs> Roxy keeps eating the uh, eating the table. Since the founding raid flea change, there is a PvP just is not rewarding in terms of like monetary value. It's more expensive to kill someone than it is to uh, to loot them and sell all their stuff most of the time. So I don't really know how to uh, how to change that, but an idea that I did have was increase the sell uh, sell value of ammo back to traders. So, if you if if you kill someone who's got like three sixty rounders of M nine nine five, you can then go and sell that and make your money. That just, I don't know how I feel about that, but I, I would like to see uh, PvP, um, you know, a little bit more worth it in terms of your money because you, like if if you empty a mag on someone. You know, you're not going to get your money back. It's just, it's just how it is, and it's also, it's also kind of uh, increasing the rap play style. I don't like saying that because anyone can play however the however the hell they want. Like I'm not going to tell you how to play, um, but I found myself at times, I, I have found myself at times, kind of avoiding the PvP because I have like a load of. Like, random barter items that are worth more than what that person could have. And I know it's not a PvP game, but PvP is very exciting in this game. So, you know, to increase that or give people an incentive to do that, I think would be a good change. They, they are my changes. They are my proposed ideas. If you do have any suggestions or if you think, Hey, Battler, your ideas are shit. Change them. You know, let me know. I, I'm always open to a discussion. What I don't want is how things are currently in the community, uh, where it's just like, re-fix your game, this is shit, change it. Um, I want solutions. We need to offer BSG solutions, and if we don't, then all we're going to do is just piss them off by saying, this needs to change, because we're not giving them an idea of how to change it, or how we would like it as a community, you know? Uh, so yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have enjoyed yourselves. I do stream Tarkov over on my Twitch, which the link for that will be down in the description below. So yeah, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.